Okay, so in this tutorial, this is what we are wanting to do. We're wanting to create a, a map layout in QGIS, and we're looking to have a regional context and maybe a, a, little, a national context and a regional context map showing our study area. So, so that's pretty much where we want to get to, and I'm going to show you how to do that using QGIS layout um, design. Okay, so yeah, let's crack on with that and see how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to start by opening up a new session of QGIS. Let's select that open up. And let's start with a, a clear slate. And I want to add a couple vector layers. Just as some background info or background layers, I'll add those two layers. And then what shall we do? Uh, let's just change this simple fill to no brush with a stroke width of 0 0.4 for the provinces, stick it on top and then I think I can do the same for this layer and then we're going to zoom in down here alright so the next thing I want to do is just use some base mapping from the quick map services and we're going to use the OpenStreetMap standard layer and I want to use the OpenStreetMap. Which one is it? It's the monochrome layer. Okay, there we go. All right, so the idea is to show you how to use inserts for regional context and that sort of thing. So I'm going to open up a new um, layout. I'll just call it Layout A4. Say OK. And let's just expand that. And uh, what we're going to do is just add a couple maps to this project. So here's your first map. And I'm going to use uh, a, an area on the right here. I'm going to leave a blank space here for our map inserts and then possibly a map title, that sort of thing. So I need to add a couple of uh, map options to, to demonstrate this little example. So there's the first one. Here's the second one down here. In fact, what I'm going to do is just make it a little wider. There we go, a little taller maybe. And then a third one down here. Okay, so we've got three different map views. And just so that you can see what's going on, I'm going to turn on the frame for each of them. And uh, that's good, that's going to work. And then maybe just for this little section here, I will draw uh, some sort of map type, map title. Um, let's call it Cape Town. Change this font size to something bigger that we can see. What's 36 like? Is that going to be too big? <laughs> it's a little, little too big. Maybe make it 26 for this other example here. Center and middle. Give it a frame as well. Just make it a little smaller like that. And this is where you'd put your legend and your scale bar and that sort of thing. But I'm not going to worry about that. All I'll do is I'll just stick a little rectangle in here so that you can see that there is uh, a placeholder for something here. So hang on a second. Why can't I see my, my style? I think that's all right, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got the first map we added, our main map view. And then two little map views, which I'm going to use for a, a, like a local, a local, and then possibly a national context. So maybe a regional context and a local context. So let's zoom in to the scale that we actually want our map to be at. So what is that? That's 350,000. Let's make this 100,000. See what that looks like. And let's just reorient. I think that's too much. Let's try 50,000. Okay, here we go. So that's going to be 50,000. Now what we want to do is we want to tell the project to use uh, this map view uh, extent as our little indicator of, of where our study area is in a sort of a regional context. And we'll use it for this one. So we can change the scale. Okay, so you can see the, the, city, of Cape, the city of Cape Town metro there. And we can zoom out just a little bit more to make it a bit more obvious. There we go, that's maybe a good example 
of the, the full metro. And then all we do is we come down here to overviews. We're going to add a new overview. And then we want to use a map frame for the overview. So this is map one, that's map two, and this is map three. So we're going to add map one as the overview. And there you go. You can see it there. It's highlighted in red. So it's maybe not as obvious because it's a transparent red. So let's just set the color opacity to something we can see. Okay, there it is. All right, so there is one of our map inserts for regional context. Now what we'll do is we'll use this map extent for the regional context in, in this map. So we select that map object and we're going to do the same thing. So we're creating an overview for this one now, except now we don't choose map one, we choose map three. And there it is. We change the color or the opacity to the same, just so we can see it, something like that. That's going to work. And now all we need to do is just change the scale of that map so we can see what's going on. And maybe, is it, th let's try 30 million, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Did that work? That's way too much. Maybe 20 million. It's okay. It's maybe a little. Maybe. A, actually, that's fine. Okay, so there we go. So it's getting there, but it's very busy at the scale. So what I want to do is I want to tell the project to lock layers. Um, I'm going to turn off the, the local municipalities, just leave the provincial boundaries, and then I'm going to come back here and lock the layers. So if I then go on and change layers again, it, uh, it won't, it won't re-render. So let's just go back to our project. First thing I'm going to do is just change this to monochrome, turn off my local municipalities, then go back to my layout and select this one. There we go. So you see how it's updated now. I've turned off the, the color uh, OpenStreetMap background and I've turned off the local municipality. So we can just see the provincial boundaries and then our little study area. So now I select lock layers and I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to select it and I'm going to turn the, the, the local municipalities back on. So let's go back in here and we'll turn those local municipalities back on. I'm happy with it being monochrome as well. Let's just update that preview. There we go. Now I can lock these layers. Okay, so now with those layers locked and those scales set, we can just change the, the rendering or the whatever's happening in this, in this main view. We don't want to change the, the, uh, the extent of the view because uh, otherwise that's going to affect what our map is telling us here, the regional context plan. So what we can do is we can just go and add a bookmark Okay, if we create a bookmark, and we just call this map extent, map extent. Okay, so now that map extent should stay the same. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty much how it will work. I just want to turn this back on, that back on, and there we go. Just zoom to the full extent. And that is how you would create a regional context map without going the long route of creating a new map and exporting an image and then importing the image as your little window down here. Okay, the last thing we might want to do is just double check how this is going to export. Save it as a PDF. Let's let that save out quickly. Okay, so we've got the message that it rendered or saved out nicely. Now let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so not so bad. You know, it's it's basically doing exactly what we wanted. We can see the uh, the two inserts, and then you can go and stick your title in here. So insert one, insert two, uh, or regional context, national context, whatever you like. But that's how we can create those inserts. So yeah, well, good luck with that. Uh, let me know how it goes. Cheers.